Hello everyone. Welcome back to a new session on dentistry and more. Today's session is on changing concepts in public health. In last session, we had seen the changing concepts in health, uh, and uh, let's see how the various uh, concepts evolved in uh, public health management. So the health definition given by World Health Organization is giving uh, emphasis on physical, mental and social aspects of health uh, rather than just the absence of disease. So similarly, the public health, uh, whereas health is uh, pertaining to a single individual, but the public health, it is uh, the health pertaining to a group of people or a big population. So it is nothing but science of preventing disease, prolonging life and promoting health through organized efforts of a society. So the role of society is very much important because it is public health. So it is nothing but preventing disease, prolonging life and promoting health through the organized efforts of society. So an individual cannot do anything just like health. <coughs> public health should be a combined effect of society. So basically we have four changing concepts just like our health in public health. So mostly it get confused with health and public health. But uh, keep in mind that health is about an individual but um, the public health is about a group of people. And the idea behind uh, both concepts were almost similar but the names are different and the approaches were different. If you see disease control phase it is almost like biomedical phase because uh, the concept was controlling the disease controlling and it was based on the germ theory then the health promotional phase there it was uh, psychosocial uh, and there it was ecological that was different uh, but in third phase it was psychosocial and the last one was holistic phase but the second phase um, we have health promotional phase social engineering phase and the last one is health for all phase and we have clear cut uh, uh, time duration for each phase first two phases were almost 40 years and the last two phases were 20 years duration so let's see what happened in disease control phase so as i was saying it was almost like uh, the concept was just like biomedical concept because um, the biomedical concept was based on the germ theory and the first phase uh, was disease control phase uh, it was uh, during 1880 to 1920 uh, we know that the germ theory was very prevalent during this time and it was known as uh, the golden age of uh, bacteriology so most of the disease uh, caused by germs so that was the belief uh, that time so obviously disease control phase also uh, will be on this scientific evidence of germ theory so in order to protect a group of people or a population uh, how to apply this germ theory so it was believed that making sanitary legislation and sanitary reforms because the contamination of our water supply and uh, by the sanitary uh, uh, matters or the fecal matters or uh, the uh, could be the reason for uh, cholera disease so that time the cholera was very prevalent and uh, the environment uh, cleanliness is very important because uh, that's the um, area where the uh, pathogens hovers most of the time and that could be the um, reason for many of the disease that was the belief that time so it was believed that if we clean our environment if we have a good uh, environment most of the, our disease uh, will be stopped or will be eliminated because by cleaning, cleaning the environment uh, by sanitary reforms or any other methods we are preventing the germs the by diseases 
So that's how we are controlling our diseases by water supply and sewage disposal improvement. So they were actually not aimed at uh, any specific disease but uh, mainly the communicable diseases. So uh, whatever we say it was uh, it was uh, like a great moment uh, the great sanitary awakening uh, which happened at the 19th century but uh, our country is still uh, the same thing has not happened in our country. So it was anyway a very great moment which improved the health of people very drastically and the communicable diseases were almost eliminated in those countries especially in European countries. Okay. So after that, uh, the germ theory uh, concept was almost uh, almost become obsolete. So then came the health promotional phase. So promoting health uh, that involving all aspects of life like social, uh, political, uh, environmental, uh, educational, everything comes into action. So that is health promotional phase in 1920 to 1960. So in this uh, phase, all of the sectors which could affect in any uh, way the health of a people are taken into consideration just like mother and child health services, uh, improvement of the school health services by providing nutrients and educating the school children, industrial health services providing or providing a better uh, safety of people who are working at industrial uh, side and uh, better mental health and rehabilitation services so all these factors which has an impact in uh, public health at, uh, are, are taken into consideration uh, that was not in the disease control phase disease control phase was mainly aimed at cleaning the area or sanitary uh, reforms and the environmental uh, cleanliness uh, it was mm, a different concept but in health promotional phase the totality of health is considered so all these sectors were considered in um, health promotional phase so it was 1920 to 1960 so in this time what happened was people started uh, creating or the health services were uh, available uh, to the people by uh, some uh, basic uh, health services provisions such as primary health centers and sub centers so these centers uh, were at their uh, doorsteps and they could uh, access it with access it very easily so that their uh, very minor problems are solved at, uh, at the very beginning stage so they don't have to travel to uh, a very long distance or a better hospital uh, so they are having uh, uh, healthcare facility at their doorstep that was the idea of um, primary health centers and sub centers uh, so it was a totalitarian uh, thinking of health so all sectors of health is considered in health promotional phase so one of the moment in health promotional phase was uh, creation of these basic health services using primary health centers and sub centers Second one was the involvement of the community, the community development program. So it is an attempt to bring out the social and economic change uh, of the rural area or village uh, by the uh, people uh, within the village. So the community involvement is very uh, much uh, is very much key to the development of the same community. Uh, the health sector cannot uh, improve. Uh, the everyone's health uh, just like the rural areas where the accessibility is very less for uh, the very uh, um, hospitals or the tertiary care centers so what uh, it was believed that let the people or the let the community uh, could give a could give a helping hand or they could uh, do a better part in the health um, at a part in health maintaining a health of people so the active involvement of the community uh, was a landmark uh, change in providing health services to the uh, village people so village development and the participation of whole community was a movement in health promotional phase 
so these two were the great moments happened during the health promotion phase one was the basic health services through phcs and subcenters and the community involvement and village development so the third phase was social engineering phase so by this time uh, most of the communicable diseases uh, were almost cured uh, because of the sanitary uh, reforms and other things but what happened was uh, the post uh, world war era uh, there was a lot of uh, transition uh, and transformation in the people's lifestyle and eating habits people uh, started getting uh, chronic diseases or the lifestyle diseases so the chronic uh, diseases has to be uh, addressed in a different uh, format so the cancer diabetes cardiovascular disease alcoholism drug addiction uh, are the new uh, diseases in the town so these diseases has to be uh, uh, managed uh, using a, a new strategy so that was the risk factor so before that uh, a particular disease was caused by particular microbe or there was a direct association between the factor and the outcome but uh, risk factor is a new concept a single risk factor can cause many diseases and a single disease can have many risk factors so risk factors uh, we had seen risk factors what were the risk factors we had seen it already uh, in the concept of causation so uh, risk factor management was the task in third phase that is social engineering phase so risk factor management was done by social and behavioral aspect of disease so so social and behavioral means uh, social the people's uh, lifestyle should be changed their eating pattern should be changed because their behavior has been changed so behavioral change is a big factor we cannot uh, change the behavior using any medicine so we need to change the behavior using uh, motivation using counseling using uh, health education so all these measures were uh, were to be used to change the behavioral pattern and social uh, stratification or the social change in people uh, has to be well taken care of because some social strata upper social class were having so much of problems like obesity and other problems so uh, such problems also started arising so all these uh, problems has to be taken care in social engineering phase so uh, there should be there are smoking the second hand smoke there are uh, family uh, problems uh, there are aging problems and other illness pollution and exposure to radiation all these factors has to be taken care of because the society has improved uh, very much uh, industrially and the similar way the pattern uh, behavior of people also changed so all these should be uh, taken into consideration to control the lifestyle or chronic diseases so at last the health for all concept just like the holistic uh, concept in our health Health for All concept was developed by uh, World Health Organization uh, during a conference, uh, a 1981 conference. So this was uh, the mm, the idea was be, idea behind this was the contra con con contradiction which was seen in developing and developed countries because the most of the people in developed country like European countries or uh, USA are uh, having the benefit of uh, accessibility and they are enjoying all the uh, elements of a health because they have uh, everything at their hand a better health all the medical facilities but what happens is only 10 to 20 percentage of the people in developing country countries having this ready access to health service so the 80 percentage is completely uh, or uh, minimal um, accessibility to the health facilities so that contradiction should be removed all should have a health uh, uh, all are a, all are all are able to live a healthy life by accessibility to health services and removing the gap between this uh, developed and developing country uh, health accessibility 
healthcare accessibility so that was the main goal of uh, it was a idealistic concept health for all by 2000 anyway it was not achieved and it was it was uh, they knew when they built in 1981 it was not going to be achieved but it was idealistic thought to provide health for uh, all that is mainly for the people in developing country so that was uh, the ultimate um, aim for uh, us because uh, health should be available or health should be attained by everyone a good productive uh, health so we can summarize this uh, the disease control phase was mainly uh, sanitary legislation and sanitary reforms uh, it was due to the poor sanitation it was in between the 40 years period that is 1880 to 1920 then the health promotional phase started uh, 1920 to 1960 uh, that was uh, the basic health services and community development program then the social aspect came into action because 1920 to 1960 the risk factors came in so the risk factors social and behavioral pattern should be uh, should be uh, taken uh, into consideration that is social engineering phase and ultimately WHO uh, suggested a health for all phase that is to reduce the gap between rich and poor within the country because in developing country only 20 percentage uh, get the better uh, provision of health and the 80 percentage is not at all getting or it is minimally getting the provision for health so that should be controlled so that's all about the various phases of public health that is disease control phase health promotion phase social engineering phase social engineering phase and health for all phase okay so i'll come up with a new session